Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here on Ama Verde, and we're here on the Lower Danube on a wonderful cruise, and we wanted to take this chance to really look at what, how these cruises operate. And I'm here with Captain Pavel Pavlov, who I've been lucky enough to sail with almost 12 days now. We've been on the road since Vienna, and now we're down almost to the end of the cruise, sadly, because I'm going to miss it. Uh, and we're going to talk to him about how he cruises on the on the Danube and what what it, what goes into this incredible experience and you're going to find out about all that and more on Insider Travel Report. First of all, Captain, it's been a wonderful cruise to be with you this long, uh, really from Vienna all the way down, and we're now in, where are we? Vidin, Vidin, Bulgaria. Vidin, Bulgaria, and we're going to end in, what's the last port? Georgia, Romania. Georgia, Romania, and then I'm going to take a bus up to Bucharest and head on yeah. home. So we're going to do that, and so how long have you been captain here on the Ama Verde? Uh, this is my fourth year with Ama Waterways, okay. and I'm first captain since 2009 on passenger ships. Oh, wow, so on passenger ships. And, and uh, where are you from originally? Bulgaria. Bulgaria. So this is home, right? Yeah, uh, my home, <laughs> of course. It. No, so it's great. So you're back home here. And, and what did it take to, in terms of your career to become a ship captain? How long did you have to study and, and, and rise to the ranks? I have been educated from Bulgaria Naval Academy. Okay. But I have decided to quit with all changes in East, East Europe. Yeah on 90s so after that i decided to come here on the river and to be a captain yeah so you'd be a captain and so you've been a captain for how long i'm sorry i've educated 1995 so okay. I've, sta I've started i've started to work uh, here on the new river 1997. so you've, you've a long experience on the rivers that's well over 25 years almost yes. at this point yeah so uh, let's talk a little bit about did you always want to be a captain or be a naval officer of oh, uh, how to say the the new river choose me <laughs> so the Danube, so, the Danube chose it because you were, it goes yeah. right through your country, so it's wonderful. Yeah, uh, and because of the less working time on board, because uh, right uh, here on uh, river ships, especially right now, I work one month and I'm one month free at home. Not bad. And uh, so you have, I assume you have a family at home that yeah. like, like, you like go back to, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Now talk about this ship, the Ama Verde. I think, I believe it was built in 2011 first, and then it got renovated in 2021, right? Yes, right. Yeah. And how, what are the dimensions of, of this ship, both the, the length and the, and the width? Yeah, the ship is long, 135 meters. Okay. And it's wide, 11 Four meter. And that makes it capable of going not on the Danube, but almost everywhere in Europe, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, we can sail from Black Sea to, the, to Amsterdam. So all the way. And, you, the and, way. You may, and you've done it probably. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. So let, let's talk a little bit about uh, uh, how many cabins uh, uh, in, on the ship and, and what's the pa ca passenger capacity? I think it's like 160 something, right? Yeah, the maximum, the, tot the total capacity is 162 passengers with uh, 81 cabins. 81 oh, cabins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. so, and it's very comfortable and the cabins are wonderful. Uh, let's talk about the propulsion system. How, how does the ship run? the engines yeah we have two main engines cattle caterpillar each 1200 uh, horsepower uh, and the ship is steering with the special wet propulsion system that's mean uh, we have uh, two wet z drive z drive so that's uh, a z -drive. Z yeah which uh, I can turn 360 degrees. The propeller turns on oh, 360 degrees. Yeah, it's like the azopods on yeah, major, yeah. Uh, they have that. So you have a lot of maneuverability yeah, of uh, in the river. And, and what is the top speed? Like when we were coming down uh, the Danube yesterday, we were moving a little bit. That was <laughs> it. So what is about the top speed you can go down the river? So I think it was around 29, 30 kilometer per hour, right. but uh, th this is with uh, very good conditions. I mean, high water level yeah. <laughs> on the new river and downstream. Yeah. So usually we cruise downstream with around 
18 to 20 kilometer per hour. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it looked, it felt pretty fast. Yeah. I was amazed at how, I don't think I've been that fast on a river and we're going through this wonderful section of the river uh, called the Iron Gates uh, that were spectacular. I think, I personally think it's on par with going in the Wakao Valley or even on the Rhine Castle. So I don't know if you feel the same way, but it's- Yeah, yeah, for me it's the same. Yeah. I, I like very much the Kazan, yeah. how to say this, uh, uh, stretch, that stretch, stretch. That stretch yeah. is yeah. the stretch of the river from there, yeah. and you actually start at a wonderful castle, mm -hmm. uh, a fort, and then you go through this incredible gorge, and you go all the way down to, uh, I think it's the largest, uh, well, it's a dam, but it's also the largest locks, yeah. right, on the Danube, yeah. right? The largest lock is Iron Gate wine, One, sorry. So it's with two chambers and totally high uh, working level is 30 meter two chambers with 15 meters high. Yeah, it was amazing to go through those locks. I've been through some locks on the upper Danube, but these were they were much larger, and there are also a couple of them. As you've got to, you kind of step down yeah. as you go south in the river. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, how, what does it take? And we have, we're, we're surrounded by all these controls. We're actually up in the, in, the, in the wheelhouse, and there are a lot of controls here. What does it take to steer and, and move this ship? Yeah, we are, how I said, uh, we are cruising with the special wet propulsion system. Pilot, it's it's called pilot system, but we don't have a autopilot on board, so we we have to control almost every second and to steer the ship the direction and to to help the direction because of the current, because of the wind, because of the shallows. Yeah, we're actually standing in it. There, you actually normally have a, 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 a chair here, and then you're sort of all surrounded by this uh, control panel. You look like a little bit like a Star Trek or something, you know? So. Yeah, <laughs> maybe yes, but if you know all the buttons, so it's... So I, I, I should call you either, yeah. either Captain Kirk or Captain Picard, right? Uh, especially... In the airplane, they have more. <laughs> uh, you got it. You got enough dials here, and it's yeah. a lot of fun. Now, uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you about was, um, you know, what is different about cruising the lower Danube compared to the upper Danube? Yeah, the upper Danube is regulated by a long time ago. Right. Yeah, but here on lower Danube, it's really challenged to 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 cruise because the way is changed almost every year. Really? Really, yeah. So the regulations change? <laughs> yeah, of course. We have to learn every year the new way, oh. especially here in Bulgaria and Romania. So they keep going back and yeah. forth on you, so you have to keep up to date on the regulations. Course, course. And I find what's interesting about a river cruising is that most of the times, while we, we do some scenic cruising, like we did yesterday through the Iron Gates, and you do that in Wakao Valley, you actually, uh, most of the time when we're going from port to port, you're doing it all at night, right? Yeah. yeah, so, uh, because so do, you ha do you have to be up at night all the time? No, I have two more captains on board. Okay, you get so them to stay up, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, that's the thing is, I saw one. Now, what you said earlier, you think this is probably still your favorite part of the Danube, this this lower Danube and the Iron Gates? Yeah, Iron Gates is my favorite part, of course. Because I think a lot of Americans, you know, they come over, they're going to do that upper Danube first. They're going to do, uh, uh, you know, up to Germany and then down to Budapest. And then I've done it a million times, uh, it seems like. It. But, and it is wonderful, but this was totally a different experience. Yeah. And they don't know what the Iron Gates is, right? Yeah, of course. And must be seen. <laughs> it, is, it is definitely a must be seen. Now, uh, are there any other rivers beyond this lower Danube that you really like to cruise? Yeah, how to say Danube is in my heart, yeah. but of course I always uh, have opportunities to go on the Rhine, mm -hmm. Main Donau Channel, and I made yeah, once, cool. twice, but here is here is my life. Here okay. is my have you ever <laughs> done the, the French rivers like Rhone no. and that? You have no. Oh, really? No. Okay. Never. Well, Rhone is beautiful yeah. too, so I've been there. The sand is very short. There's not a lot of locks or anything like yeah. that. Not as much. Maybe yeah, I will go, but like a guest. <laughs> now, now, of course, Amma Waterways has a brand new river they're going to be uh, uh, opening up in Colombia, yeah, in Colombia. Uh, Magdalena. Maybe you got to go, with, mm -hmm. go, go sit in the wheelhouse there with your fellow Colombian uh, captain and find out what he has to do, right? Why not? Yeah. That's a good thing. Now, uh, is, is there anything else you want to tell uh, your guests? and also our travel advisors out there about the Danube, the Lower Danube, and this ship, Emma Verde. What to say, just come to see. It's a completely different uh, well, life here. 
Yeah, well, well no, it, it, is, it is completely different. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the biggest thing. And, and I think one of the things is that the crew, including the crew, yourself, yeah. is all from this region. And yeah. so this is your home. This is where you go. And, you know, the other day we were in, uh, you know, we're in Belgrade and I met uh, your cruise manager's family. He was aboard. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just really nice to see. And you're really eager to show off your countries, right? Yeah, right. So the, the half uh, of the crew is uh, from this country, this region here. Yeah, so there's yeah. Serbian, Bulgarian, yeah. and Romania. Bulgaria and Romania. Mm -hmm. And we are happy to show our traditions to all our guests well, yeah, yeah, That's perfect. Yeah. Well, Captain, I want to thank you for taking the time. Uh, I've been, been love sailing with you the past uh, om almost 20 days, minus a little four, but it's been a real pleasure to come on board with you. And actually, for my first time way down here, I've been uh, Serbia and uh, Croatia, but I'd never been Bulgaria and Romania. So this is a first for me, and I look forward to coming back another time. Thanks, and it's our pleasure to serve. I am James Schillinglaw. And this is Insider Travel Report.